There are two Emmys on this one. You have Saving Wrigley Field, Cubs production, and Chicago Stories in Union Stockyards, WTTW. The project team fortified a 100-year-old ballpark on the verge of disrepair and then modernized it to last for the next 100 years. But the Cubs were not only restoring brick, concrete, and steel, they were preserving generations of memories as well. Because the ballpark is a living history, a place where people are reminded that baseball is America's pastime, that a game can inspire movements, and that a team can define our virtues and instill pride in us. On Chicago's South Side, a few powerful men completely transformed the way Americans eat. A small handful of people reinvented the system of meat delivery. They streamlined it, industrialized it, automated it. But behind the cheap meat were hidden costs. The smell was like being in the toilet 24-7. This is the result of different accidents that I have. You have all of this animal waste and blood running in this creek. And in time, the American people would fight back. It was just constant lawsuits. Just There was just constant investigations, constant bad news. The story of meatpacking in Chicago is the story of American capitalism. The Union Stockyards. Thank you. Um, first, thanks to Cups Productions, uh, everyone from Matt Romito all the way on down. Everybody, we, we're a small team. Everyone touched this in some capacity. Um, and yeah, it was a great team effort. Um, and secondly, I guess I just wanted to say that it's, it's a pleasure, you know, to, to tell stories like this about how sports are tied to a city's, uh, into, a, into our society, into our culture. There's no place quite like Chicago uh, where that is so richly done. And so it is our pleasure to tell these stories. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Academy. <laughs> thank you, WTTW. Uh, my great-grandfather, Ed Burr, was a butcher. And once in a while, he'd make some money in the Union Stockyards. And his great-grandson, that'd be me, was a documentary storyteller. And I found some success in the Union Stockyards. So this is a place where you find a subject that is, what were the words I wrote down? Uh, disturbing, outrageous, and juicy, visceral. And this team went whole hog. Thank you for the pun. I want to know Tim Boyd's excellent camera work. Robert Lorzell is up here nominated as well for his script. Patty Kniff for her excellent editing. The voice of Anthony Fleming the third. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, we have with us also uh, the associate producer Ian uh, Bertarelli. I want to thank Nick Tremulous for his evocative horror movie score. And uh, finally, series producer Dan Protest for his devotion to how we approach this story. And of course, you got to thank your wife, who's not here. She's with my kid, wa watching him play an orchestra. So thank you, Ann Northrup. Go Chicago Stories, go WTTW, thank you. Thank you.